22 to 23 percent of the women in India are suffering from a PCOS and unfortunately more than 65 percent of the women they don't even know what are the symptoms of PCOS. So how do we know that whether you have a PCOS or you don't have and if you don't know about it then stay tuned with me because we are going to discuss that in our today's topic. Namaste. My name is Dr. Tanvi Mayur Patel. I'm an endocrinologist, hormone specialist, a doctor from Mumbai, India. Now, before I continue this video, one important information. If you want to watch this video in Hindi language, then on the I button and below in the description box, there is a link. If you click on that link, then this video will be played in Hindi language for you. अगर आप आज के इस वीडियो को हिंदी भाषा में देखना चाहते हैं तो ऊपर आई बटन पे और नीचे डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में एक लिंक है अगर आप उस लिंक पे क्लिक करते हैं तो इस वीडियो को आप हिंदी भाषा में पाएंगे सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू आवर टुडेज टॉपिक दैट हाउ विल यू नो दैट यू हैव अ पीसीओएस और नॉट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज पी वेल इट स्टैंड फॉर पॉली सिस्टिक सिंड्रोम Many people also call it as a PCOD that is polycystic ovarian disease. PCOS and PCOD is one and the same. They are the same diseases. Okay, only the name is different. Now the major reason of PCOS is a hormonal imbalance. The imbalance of the female and a male hormone. And plenty many times this PCOS problem is due to our unhealthy daily lifestyle. That means PCOS can be very easily prevented also. Now many people have a question in their mind. Is a PCOS is only a women's problem or can it happen to male also? Answer is this problem happens only in a woman. Understand PCOS is a disease of the ovaries and ovaries are an organ which are present in female and not in male. That's the reason why PCOS cannot happen in male. But understand one more thing, the root of the PCOS is the insulin resistance and this insulin resistance can happen to both men and women. That means insulin resistance can happen to both the gender but the PCOS particular disease happens only to the women. Now having said about the women, at what age a woman can have a PCOS? See PCOS usually develops any time after the puberty. Even at the puberty many a times the PCOS can be present and can delay even the appearance of the first menstrual cycle also. But usually this PCOS which starts at around teenage age group and it can go all the way up to the menopausal age group. Many of the time many of the women have a PCOS even after the menopause. That means it can happen anywhere around 12 to 15 year of age to 45 to 50 year of age. Okay, so that is the PCOS and when it can happen. So how will you know whether do you have PCOS or not? Well, we can find it out by plenty many ways. And one such method is by knowing your body's symptoms. Uh, being aware of the body symptom is very important. If you know what are the body symptoms, then only you will be mindful about it and you will take an action. So what are the body symptoms? So very first body symptom is the irregularity in your men monthly menstrual cycles. See ideally a menstrual cycle is of 28 days. However, plus minus 7 days is considered normal. But if you have a cycle which is more than 35 days and it is not coming on a regular basis, this irregularity in menstrual cycle can be one of the indication of a PCOS. If you are a married woman and you are planning to conceive, 
it might be possible that it, it's not a smooth journey for you. You are finding it difficult to conceive. You are struggling with infertility. And if at all you conceive, for unknowingly, you are getting a miscarriage. This recurrent repeat miscarriages and infertility can also indicate a PCOS. PCOS another symptoms are due to the high level of the male hormone that is an androgen. So if you have a high level of androgen, you will experience lot of acne or pimples over your face and over your body. You might have unwanted hair over your face, over your upper lips, over your chin area and other parts of the body where usually women do not have a hair. So this condition is called as a hirsutism. So hirsutism can also indicate a PCOS. Many a times many women start having a hair fall and this hair fall is more likely like that of the typical what male hair. So this male pattern baldness is also indicating towards the PCOS. Many a times you might experience that your body color complexion is getting dark and this darkening is happening more over your body skin folds especially over your neck area, over your underarms, over your inner thighs. This can also indicate PCOS. Many people have a skin tags. So these are small small tags especially found more commonly over the neck area. Again indicating PCOS. It might be possible that you are continuously gaining weight especially more over your abdomen area. Or if you are trying to lose weight and you are unable to lose weight. Again this indicates towards the PCOS. So these are the most common symptoms which happens with the PCOS. Few uncommon symptoms like you have a high blood pressure issues or you are having a snoring problem. Especially when you are sleeping in the night, your family members complain that you snore a lot. This is actually an indication of a sleep apnea, again correlated with the PCOS. So these are your body uh, symptoms which is indicating that you have PCOS. And if you think that you have any of these symptoms, do not worry, visit nearby endocrinologist or hormone specialist to doctor. The moment you will go to a doctor, your doctor will first ask about your health history, will check what is your height, will check your body weight and based on these two parameters will come to a conclusion of your body mass index, that's a BMI. Higher the BMI, more chances that you will have a PCOS. So these are the physical findings. Then your doctor will ask you to do few testing. So what are the testing we usually ask? So this testing, very first test we would like to know is what is the level of your insulin hormone? As I told you earlier that the root of the PCOS is insulin resistance. And this insulin resistance happens when your body has high level of insulin. So we usually ask patients to do their fasting insulin level. And if the fasting insulin level is high, it indicates towards the insulin resistance. Even if they may not have PCOS today, but they have a high chances of developing PCOS in near future. So we will ask you to do fasting insulin. Along with that, we want to check what is your blood sugar like. So fasting blood sugar and after food blood sugar. Then a three month average blood sugar that is a HbA1c or a glycosylated hemoglobin. These are the certain tests we ask. Besides that, we also want to know what is the level of the androgen that is a male hormone. For that, we will ask you to do a hormone test like a total and a free testosterone levels. We also want to check what is a DHT hormone level test. We also want to know what is a free androgen index. So all of this will help us to know whether androgen male hormones are in excess or not. We also want to know your two of the feminine hormone that is the FSH and LH. So if the FSH that is a follicle stimulating hormone and LH that is a luteinizing hormone, if there is an imbalance of these two hormones or if there is a disturbance in the ratio of the balance of these two hormones, again PCOS can be a problematic. 
see many a times what happens women present with the irregular periods and that can also happen commonly due to thyroid imbalance so your doctor will also ask you to do a thyroid blood test so tsh then t3 t4 these hormones are tested a prolactin another hormone which contributes to the irregularity of the menstrual cycle so your doctor might ask you to do a prolactin hormone test also many a times what happens that the androgen the male hormone can come from other part of your body also and one such is the adrenal gland adrenal gland is located on top of your kidney so if you have a adrenal issues again you can have a uh, irregularity in periods so for that your doctor might ask you to do a hormone test like 17 ohp and dheas so these are the certain test hormonal tests by which we will come to know whether you have pcos or not besides that many times we also do a lipid profile or a cholesterol testing to find out whether do you have any imbalance of the lipids or not so these are the blood test we do your doctor will also ask you to do a scan now what is this scan this scan is nothing but a ultrasound or ultrasonography scan usually this ultrasound is done of the pelvis area and for that we ask you to do a pelvic ultrasound many of the times we also do a transvaginal ultrasound which in layman language is a internal ultrasound however the transvaginal ultrasound we usually don't recommend to women who are not married and who are still have not encountered themselves into any physical sexual activity though transvaginal ultrasound is better compared to the pelvic ultrasound but plenty many times the pelvic ultrasound is usually advised and when we do this pelvic ultrasound we basically want to see two things first we want to see what is the status of the ovaries whether the ovaries has many small small fluid filled sac what is the volume of the ovary more the volume again high indication of a pcos another thing we want to check in the ultrasound is the thickness of the endometrium now endometrium is nothing but a lining of your uterus and more the uterus um, endometrial thickness again it is not a healthy sign so we want to see what is the status of your endometrium and we also want to see what is the status of your ovary and based on this we will also come to a conclusion whether you have pcos or not so basically how do we know whether you are pcos or not so basically three ways one is a body symptoms second is a blood test and third is the ultrasound now plenty many international guidelines are there to for the diagnosis of the pcos and most of these guidelines suggest that if you have any two out of this three things then you have a high chances of pcos so if you are diagnosed with the pcos please do not worry please do not feel depressed pcos is preventable disease and at the same time can be very easily managed disease also so if you focus on your holistic lifestyle you will be able to encounter pcos very easily and successfully what are those treatments and what are the guidelines we will discuss in another video Today's video is basically to create more awareness about the symptoms of the PCOS and how do we know that you have PCOS or not. Understand as I told you earlier the statistics of our country says more than 65% of the women they don't even know what are the symptoms. So this is mainly to make you alert and aware that this disease can have these symptoms. It might be possible that you don't have these symptoms but if any of your other colleague or your family member your sister or your daughter or your friend if they have any of such symptom 
please make them also aware and ask them to visit to the nearest endocrinologist doctor so you can do a early diagnosis and early treatment and better you do the early treatment lesser the chances of a complication right i hope after watching this video you got some good useful information and if yes please click on the like button if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe so that you get more and more health related especially hormones related information and if you have any of your personal question whose answer you are seeking for write that in the comment box below i try to read and answer them as early as i can we will meet again with some new interesting topic till then take care of yourself namaste